Hey, what's going on? This is Edison Abelard, and today we're going to talk about retopology and Moto 701. Hands down, Moto is now my favorite tool for retopology. There are so many great features and so many great tools that are very intuitive that I know you're going to grow and love. Now, down here we have uh, some of our stats. As you can see down here, this is actually 1.2 million polygons. Yes, this is definitely a ZBrush mesh. Um, using Dynamesh brought it in uh, to Moto, and you can see Moto performs very well. And let me tell you, it can definitely do many millions of polygons. I've gone up to at least 5 million polygons, and Moto handling it still very well, but that's based on what type of system that you have. But I'm sure it can probably do uh, much more because it wasn't lagging or anything. So I've gone ahead, I've created a mesh, and I'm going to start off with the, the topology sketch tool. Now, as it implies, the topology, the topology sketch tool will allow you to sketch directly onto the mesh. So as you can see, I'm just dragging this out. And you can see the curve in here, and it tries to follow the curve while also, as you can see, taking the vertices and actually placing them on this background mesh. So now I have this nice sketch to begin with, and as I move around, you, you can see I'm going to grab that topology pen tool, make sure that the mode is set to move. And as you can see, now I can take these points and I can just gently move them around. And then just get them into a place that I, I feel is kind of right, keep moving it. And then now we start to see some of the real power in Moto. If I hover over here and, all, and I hit Shift, I can actually grab this edge and keep creating a new edge. Or if I hit Shift, from a vertice, I can cre keep creating new vertices. So I can just keep going across this and create new vertices this way. Or if I wanted to, I can select multiple vertices and go that way. But for this, we're just going to do this. You know what? I'm going to show you another really cool thing about Moto. Actually, that was a double, if you can see that. I'm going to keep this away from each other. And as you can see, now I have polygons that aren't actually... Um, merge together, I can actually click on the vertice, and as I get closer, you can see now that this right vertice is turning purple, it will actually snap to it. That, that lets you know that it can snap right to it. So I'm just snapping these together, and as you can see, when I move them around, they are merged. And that's another great time saver. Once again, I can either grab that edge, or I can grab, oops, hold down shift, and I can actually create a new vertice with the polygons attached. Or I can actually hover over this area, hold down shift, and I'm going to say right mouse button click, or middle mouse button. I have a tablet, so sometimes I end up forgetting what these buttons are. Actually, let me pull over to this. I'm just using the mouse. All right, so it is. It is the right mouse button. <laughs> All right, so I using shift and the right mouse button I can keep creating lines now in this instance it's only doing two polygons only because the area that I have selected only has those two polygons but I can easily do the same thing with any one of these edges so shift and now you can see it brings down the whole entire thing so I can just keep going and creating these nice cylindrical and it doesn't have to be a cylinder but it can be anything just grab them I can bring them down, maybe align them. And you can still use a lot of Moto's um, other tools as well. So if I wanted to lasso select, I can just hit Q, lasso select all of these. Now they're all selected. Use the scale tool, make sure negative is off, and I can just scale these down. And Moto will keep trying to constrain this to the background mesh as best as possible. So now we have a straight line. Go back to the topology tool. Uh, let's just get rid of that. Go back to the topology tool and just keep going. We can keep creating it the way we were before or you can actually use um, the mode. Say I didn't like how this one came out. I can actually just click on any one of these and just create myself or, or delete them. Or I can just keep it and move, create a new one as you can see and then just merge it with the other vertice. The other thing we can do is, is in this area right here, let's say we want more 
just a little more definition in here because this is a cage if I'm to hide this mesh you can see this is a cage but you know what you can kind of see some form here but you really can't tell that it juts out just a little bit so if I want to add that all I have to do is just come into this select edge and add edge loop so what will happen now is whichever edge I am on is going to do a, a perpendicular line to that. So I click on this top edge and I get an edge running vertically. Click on an edge here and I, now you can see that the edge, not only is the edge created, the edge is actually following the contour of the actual model. And that's because I, I, I clicked on this edge loop tool over here. And what that what that check does is, as you can see when I uncheck it, it, it actually acts as uh, somewhat of a path finder for us. It, it goes across the mesh and it finds the path and it tries to make it as smooth as possible. So now we have extra definition. But that's, that's the simple stuff. You know, the, the, that's the things that you can kind of, uh, you know, you can probably get away with doing in a lot of other programs out there. But what Modo also provides is is I just create I just click end to create a new mesh. What Modo also provides us with is, is the ability to use contour. Now if you look look at this shape, you can see it does have a nice contour to it. But at the end of the day, it really isn't it doesn't shift much. So what we can do is, is we can click on our contour tool and create a line, you know, find the right angle, and hold down shift, and we can create another line. We want to make sure that we get this area and right before the head. So we have four nice lines. Okay, maybe not all so nice. <laughs> uh, let's grab our, yeah, you know what, it actually did come on. We didn't see the extra ones. But there goes our, our curves. This one right here didn't come out as good as we wanted it to. So we can actually, if we want to, we can actually go in there and move it around but for, for this video we're just going to show you quickly how you can now use the bridge tool and using this continuous um, bridge you can actually you can actually use the bridge tool to create a seamless edge so if I click these two come back to bridge and just click on the screen you can see that vertices and, and um, it looks what it looks like polygons were made, but you can't see it very well. And sometimes Modo does this. And if you ever if you ever get that, you can just click to another view and come back. Apology. There you go. And then and then you'll see it on top of the mesh. Just a little visual bug, but I'm I'm sure it'll get fixed. So now what we have here is our options. Let's start off with the segments. I know I don't want that many segments, so let's cut this down to something that's reasonable. Let's do ten. Right, so we have 10 segments automatically generated for us. If we go around the mesh, as you can see, it is created. Now, if we want to, in this, we don't have a twist, so there's no reason for us to change this. But you can change the mode. Right now, it's set to curve. We can use smooth, or we can use a line. So as you can see, each, each cage gets a different result based off of the mode that we're in. So I'm going to leave that at curve. And we can go right back into a typology pen tool. And if we need to make any other changes, we can continue making more changes. Uh, move some of these vertices around. You know, down here, this, this is looking extremely sloppy, but I have add loop in there, so actually making things confusion, confusing. There you go. Let me move this around. Now, as you can see, down in here, it is... It's, it's something, something funky is going on. So what we can do if we want to now is, is we can keep using Modo's regular editing tools and grab our edges. As you can see, there goes our edge. We can actually just delete them. If this is just too weird, too funky, we don't want to deal with it, grab our edges and just delete them. Now, just like we did before, we want to create a new edge in here. We can go back to our topology pen tool go to the add loop make sure that we have um, that on we can also um, enable edge slide 
now we have a brand new edge there and now we don't have to worry about you know that funky um, lines and you know those vertices coming together so this is Moto view topology tools there are so many more um, event advantages to using Moto as a single platform so you're not jumping around from from area to area and in the next video I'm going to show you how you can actually take this build out a nice little mesh and then export out some of your maps. This is Edison Abelard. I'm out.